Hi everyone. In this session, uh, we see some of the questions uh, from electron devices and circuits, which have been asked in TRB 2007. And the first question is the forbidden energy gap of silicon is. It's a direct question. So we know all know that the forbidden energy gap of silicon is 1.1 electron volt. If they ask for germanium. You can write for germanium it is 0.7 ev right so they may ask for germanium also next question is uh, a crystal diode is used as a dash we all know that uh, the main application of diode is a rectifier right so the option a is the correct answer and the third question is the relationship between the current amplification factors of common base transistor and the common emitter transistor is this is also a direct question it is beta is a common emitter amplification factor and alpha is a common base amplification factor so b is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha is a direct answer suppose if they give alpha in terms of beta or in terms of beta means alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta they may ask like this also if you simplify this equation it will give alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta next question is input resistance of a fit is of the order of dash ohms mega ohms kilo ohms and milli ohms we know that fit is having a high input impedance in the order of mega ohms whereas for uh, bjt it is kilo ohms you should remember that also and uh, next question the unique characteristics of your led when compared with the conventional incandescent lamp is we all know that led doesn't consume much power and uh, it requires less current and uh, but the main thing is it is low working voltage that is very very important point right next and uh, next question is the mosfet and the bjt are voltage driven current driven device respectively both are voltage driven both are current driven current driven and voltage driven and uh, we know that mosfet is a voltage driven and uh, bjt is a current driven so the option is option a because in mosfet the gate voltage controls the current flowing between drain and the source whereas in bjt the base current controls the current flows between emitter and the base so mosfet is a voltage control current source bjt is a current control current source that is also a very very important point and apam is voltage control voltage source these things we must remember and uh, Next question is the amplification factor of a FET. This is also a direct question. Amplification factor mu is equal to Rd into Gm. It's a direct question. Rd is a drain resistance. So AC drain resistance. So mu is amplification factor. This is a well-known uh, relation in uh, FET. Mu is equal to Rd drain resistance, Gm is a transconductance. So option C is a correct answer. Then which of the following is false, right? And uh, first option IC is much reliable due to absence of solder joints. Joints that is also correct one. It's not false. IC is smaller in size and weight. It's also correct. Inductors and transformer can be easily fabricated. No, we all know that in uh, IC we cannot fabricate inductor and the transformers because when current flows through an inductor, it will create a magnetic flux, so it will affect other device. So normally ICs are not uh, in indu inductors are cannot be fabricated in IC. So that is very very important point. <coughs> Next one, sorry. Monolithic transistors are formed in the epitaxial N layer by this is a direct question uh, from uh, IC fabrication they have asked it is 
by successive impurity diffusion technique right so it's direct one next one the maximum rectifier efficiency of off rectifier is this is also a well known direct question it is 40.6 percentage for full way rectifier it is twice the amount 81.2 percentage that also we have to remember and a semiconductor junction diode has a reverse saturation current of 0.5 microampere at an ambient temperature of 25 degree celsius the approximate value of a reverse saturation current at 75 degree is so we know that uh, in semiconductor diode reverse saturation current doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature so we have we have to use that concept we all know that at 25 degree the current is 0.5 at 35 degree 1 45 degree twice the amount to 55 degree twice the amount of 2 4 65 degree twice the amount of uh, 4 8 75 degree twice the amount of 8 16 so what is the question they ask for they ask for at 75 degree so at 75 degree the reverse saturation current is 16 micro ampere so option c is a right answer next question which of the following is true for an operational amplifier and the next question is uh, which of the following is true for an app amp? first one common mode rejection ratio should be small as possible no we have known that uh, the ideal characteristics of amplifier app amp says that cmr should be infinity so it should be wrong answer and uh, let us see second one cmr should be as large as possible that seems right answer third option is power supply re rejection ratio should be as large as possible no psr should be very very less for app amp psr states that how much of uh, input offset voltage changes when with respect to change in in supply voltage or input voltage so it should be very very less and input offset voltage should be as large as possible no this is a voltage which is produced in the differential voltage in the app amp input even though we don't apply any input so that is not a it should not be very high right without input we should not get a, any input at the app amp so this should be very very less ideally it should be zero so this is also wrong option so option b is the right answer the slow rate uh, specification of an operational amplifier is usually measured in it's a direct question the unit of uh, slow rate is one volt per microsecond that is very important volt per microsecond this is telling uh, how much uh, voltage is changing in or uh, per microsecond that's what uh, important point so it's a direct question the oscillation frequency of an rc phase shift oscillator is it is also a direct question it is uh, f fo is equal to 1 by 2 pi root 6 rc right so direct question for other oscillator also we must know the frequency of oscillation that is very important Next, the Barkhausen criterion for sustained oscillation is we are having two criteria for Barkhausen. So, one is magnitude should be equal to 1, and another one is phase angle B is equal to 360 degree or 0 degree. So, here the condition is magnitude of uh, B is equal to 1. So, option C is the correct one. Another option is so another one condition is phase angle BA should be equal to 360 degree or 0 degree that also you must remember. Integrator is a what? It is a low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter or band rejection filter. Integrator is a low pass filter. Integration is nothing but your summation. So 
if you sum and find the average it will be always leading to a low pass operation hope you have read all the things in digital signal processing so integrator is nothing but your low pass filter i hope you understood everything the questions are very direct if you just to read all the concepts you can answer many questions in dr trb because most of the question they ask directly for any doubts ask clarification in comment box i am happy to answer thank you